Hey, Mo, what's up, buddy? How's that ring going? It's going great, dude. It's going great. Young apprentice. Have we fought we're done yet? First no. things first. You are a tadpole when it comes to magic. Infantile. Without the legs to walk. So, to become a sorcerer, first, you must face your ignorance. Now, shall we start learning? Rude. Well, well. <clears throat> Celibus is not a name I ever wanted to hear again. But fine. If it will help you, my apprentice, I offer my knowledge. The stars alter the fate of the Karian royal family and the fate of your mistress, Rani. But long ago, General Radan challenged the swirling constellations and in a crushing victory arrested their cycles. Now he is the force that repulses the stars. If General Radan were to die, the stars would resume their movement and so too would Rani's destiny. Bada boom. Now, do I go back to Saluvius with that information? I'm gonna check. Or maybe, maybe she just tells us that, and the next step is to kill Radon. One sec. The uh, the cat behind my keyboard requires some emergency pets. He is receiving a plethora of head scritches currently. And just to update you, he is leaning into them, so I I, I believe he is enjoying them. Yeah. Talk to Blade after you talk to Selen to learn about Radon. Cool. <clears throat> Who is Radon? Uh, Radon is um, Munchon's brother. <clears throat> the other, um, the other one. Am I excited for the DLC? I'm very excited for the DLC, yes. Mm -hmm. This is the most relaxing Souls game. Hey, Ariel, how are you? Mm -hmm. Okay. I have no time for idle chit-chat. The only thing I will hear from you is a report of your task's completion. Are we understood? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then our future. Mm -hmm. I have enough on my plate. Okay. He was nice. Okay. There will never be a game like Elden Ring. Elden Ring 2 would like a word. Criticals, how are you? Good to see you. Hmm. Sounds like Snape. Kind of. I love his voice. Ugh. The sounds so... Ugh. He's got, he's got like one of those, what's the best, I think the best word for a voice like his is sniveling. He's got a sniveling voice, and I love it. Uh, oh, I was going to go up here and talk to Ronnie, but we don't need to. Let's go talk to uh, Wolfbro. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, actually, let's go get our runes. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Let's go get our runes. Mm -hmm. All right, chat. All right. Okay. Did he basically stop the planet from rotating? We don't even know if the lands in between is on a planet. And besides, the Earth is flat, so I don't know what you're talking about. But um, we, so as far as we understand, I think a good way to think about the lands in between is I think 99% of this is supposed to be uh, just like... It's just supposed to represent different things. So essentially, the, the stars, I believe, just... Uh, kind of represent the cycle. Not necessarily like the stars orbiting the planet. So Radon has stopped the cycle from occurring. Um, and we, and by killing him, you unlock the cycle. Yeah. But no, I don't think we really know anything about like, um, like if this is a planet or a different world. I don't think there's any references to Earth. The only kind of fourth wall stuff that Dark Souls ever does is Patches. Patches is like this weird funny little nod that moves between the games. But honestly, like outside of some 
random specific references of people, like, that's it. <laughs> that's everything. Like, they do a really good job of kind of keeping everything Dark Souls centric. Yeah, the, the Moonlight Greatsword as, as well. Yep. Is there anything else? Patches and the Moonlight Greatsword. Outside of, like, newbie gear on newbie people. Is there anything else? I think some of the some of the newbie gear is the same and stuff. Toxic swamps. Okay, that's fair. Okay, let's just go. I don't think we need to do anything else here. It's a weird icon. All right, let's go back to Wolf Bro. Talk to him about Radon, and then we'll go up the stairs. I think we have all six of these. If we don't, we'll just grab them real quick. Zweihander, Claymore, Uchigatana. So, I, I see why you guys would say that those are, like, between the games, but those are also just real weapons. So, like, eh, I mean, you know, other games have Claymores and <laughs> Zweihanders and stuff. So, I, I, would, I wouldn't really classify that as, as a reference. Yeah. Those are just common names of common weapons. <laughs> they both have swords and shields. Clearly reference material. Clearly. Clearly. Uh, just go this way. Oh, that's true. Poor control schemes, especially when sprinting. Yes, those are a theme inside of Souls games. Absolutely. Yep. Good call. Oh my god, if that guy had sent me off, I would have. Lars, awesome buddy, thank you. What? Twitch muted my Homeworld 3 unboxing video. But there was no music in it. Hmm, I'll have to look into that later. That's a weird one. Ah, well met. Hi. What news? I learned about Radon. Tell Selin's story. Hmm. So Rani's fate is kept in stasis by Starsgird's Radon. That reminds me of something I heard. There's a festival being held at the castle on the southern edge of the Caled Wilds, east of Limgrave. It's a festival of combat. And I heard that you can fight Radon himself. He who's once called the strongest of all the demigods. Maybe it's just a coincidence. But I think it's worth investigating. I'll be on my way to this festival of Radon. And seriously, man, for you're coming too, all right? that that thing does, you main castle. the way ahead is. You're not going to even mention that poor horse that Radon rides. I mean, you want to talk about the real hero of Elden Ring? Have you seen the horse that Radon rides, and has been riding for like five thousand years? Oh my God, that poor horse. Oh, I feel so bad for him. Leonard. Yeah. What a bro. But I think he's the actual hero of Elden Ring. I think he's he's the real he's the real main character of Elden Ring. He uses gravity magic to help the horse. I hope he does. <laughs> For the horse's sake, I hope he does. I laughed so hard when I saw that, dude, it's it's pretty hilarious. Let's try another one. Let's try another one. Um, how much do I have? 131. Oh, wait, here. Uh, let's bring in Lutel. Oh, wait, can we? We may not even be able to here. Is this a boss? I thought this was a boss. It's not a boss. Oh, bro. You're dead. 
Oh. Jerk. Wait, are you dead? I thought all six of these out here meant that we lit all the pillars. Um... Oh, are we missing two? Oh, there's eight! Well, that'll do it. <laughs> that'll do it. Okay. Thanks, chat. Bro's just picking herb, and I come in and just ruin his good stuff. I'm, an, I'm a monster, chat. I really am. Bro's just hanging out, chilling with his herb. I just come in and ruin everything. Why do they glow? I don't know why these particular enemies glow here. Uh, most of the time enemies are kind of translucent and glowy if they're in kind of a spirit form or projection or something, but I, I don't know the lore behind why these guys are glowy. Maybe just that they're spirits. They may just be straight up spirits. What in the heck is going on here, and who killed all these people? Oh. <laughs> That's what killed all these people. Hold on. Yep. Okay. That's... I tell ya. Give a human a ledge, right? <laughs> oh, Lord. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, I love that they're all on the horse, right? They're all on the horse. I should join them? Well, that's a nice thing for you to say non-sub. Why'd you say that? <clears throat> oh, wait, that was Dave. What's up, Dave? How you doing? <laughs> Hi. Okay. So, is there, like, any hint to where these things are? Or do I just need to, like, ride around and... Hey, dog. Oh, lots of dogs. Follow up? Dude, that is awesome. Oh, man. That is crazy strong. Was that the other one right there? Maybe. Come on. That's really fast, too, yeah. It seems to be heavy damage and fast. Let's see. Yeah, dude. I would have one-shot him if I had actually had him targeted properly. That's cool. I was going to say, are you going to attack me, Sheep? Because I will rock your world. <laughs> this, this will not end well for you. I don't know what you're thinking, Lamb Chop, but this is not going to end how you think it is. What's this axe and where can I get it? This is off the Dragonkin Knight in this area, actually. Um, if you look right here on the map, there is a fallen... Oh, oh, I don't know if you can see it on the map. Oh, maybe it's... I think it's this right... There's a fallen over pillar that you need to ride up. And once you get to the top... There's a little uh, warper 
teleport ring. It's like a little Stargate teleporter, you know, those little tiny ones that are on the ground. And if you take that, you'll pop up up here in like, it's kind of like this back region. I don't know if this, I don't think this is it. This, this area, the map here is kind of weird because I think it's here actually. I think you pop up up here. And then the boss is like right over here. He's like back by the waterfall area. Okay. No, 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 come back first, no, get him before they get you. Okay, we're good. Sorry, chat, we got him. Good. It's called an axe bird. Instead of a halberd? Okay. Al is pretty pissed over that, but that's cool. It's fine. Do I feel better? I do. I feel a lot better. I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. That looks a little better. Should we? Yeah, I want it back. We're, I mean, it's right. We'll go ahead and refresh. Okay. Um, the tree boss, or the deer boss. This guy is... I want to I want to say pretty easy but uh, I don't remember really I think this dude is pretty easy though but we're not we're not taking any chances zero chances Never use this guy. Yo, what? He's got like a flaming spear? Hell yeah, dude. Get him. Feels good, man. That does not take a lot of mana either, which is kind of wild. He's got a range attack too? This guy, dude. What a boss. Oh, he's dead though. You killed him. Nice. Bro, you did your job. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. You did great. Oosh! Right on the bony snoot. We'd love to see it. Fantastic. A lot of souls are here. Damn. Hell yeah. Um, Applause, please. Is there something else for us to do here? I don't think so. Thanks, Jack. Yeah, no, I think we're good. Visions of Champion. Hey! 
Lele le plus one? Hey, it's not on me. It's on you, chat. Don't look at me. Don't look at me! <sighs> Y'all are terrible. Okay, so, uh, before we go from here, is there anything else we want to get down here before we go? Um, I don't actually remember how to get to Nakan, so, I mean, maybe we can get there now and I just forgot. Um, what happens now? Well, that's awkward. Okay. <laughs> did I get the gold seed in this area? I did. Unlock the elevator that takes up to Caleb. We did that. We got the elevator. We killed the dragon. We got... We bought the cookbooks from the vendor. We got all... We did all of Bly's stuff. We got all the stone sword keys. We killed the deer. We got the stuff here. Um, I think we're good. Oh, you need to kill Radon before you get a knock run. Okay. Okay. The double gargoyle boss. I think that's later. Oh my god. The double gargoyle boss. Oh, I forgot about him. We had a really hard time with him, I think, even on our strong character. Yeah. You should go back up that elevator and defeat the three champions for the best weight talisman in the game. Over here. You can bypass the two gargoyles, can you? Can you just run by, by them and get in the thing? I didn't realize that. I, Kaelid. I hate you. Alright. Uh, sure. I'll figure out for 40, why not? Do it. So first, the map. Yeah, so as for the three guys that you all, you all are talking about, man, I, mm, I don't know. I, I remember, God, maybe I'm writing there now, but I, I remember we had a really, really tough time with those three guys. Um, it, was, it was a thing, a big thing. Time. I think I think we can take the armor off, right? Oh, we can't. Oh. Why do I think we could? I 
cannot poise this guy for my life. There it is. Next hit, of course, right? I should have done that. So wait, what, what is that? What does that mean? Uh, Draconor group password is Gary Q. So do, do I want to do it offline or this boss had co flipping out the first time? Yes, I remember. Yeah, I, I was very, very angry when I played this the first time. Yep. And I might be very angry this time. We'll see. I'm going to try this one time right now. I am most likely going to die. Um, but we're going to try it. We are going to try it. Oh my God, look at this guy. Okay. Can I summon? No. Night of the Great Jar. That's what we're talking about. Bro, what is your life? Dude, I don't know about this. This guy seems... Nah, man. It, oh, God, I'm trapped. Um, oh, God. I have made a huge... We, we aren't messing around. <laughs> we are not messing around. This is the, you just saw me use the most consumables I have in any Dark Souls game since I have been born. That was that was the most I've ever done at one time. I'm so proud of me right now. 